All right, Blue, take it away. Watch out for that manhole. Excuse me, are you the foreman? Yeah, that's me, Kyle. And your name? I'm Sam, the safety regulations officer. All right. Jacob's told me you'd be showing up eventually. You might want this hard hat. Oh, thanks. What seems to be the job today? Hard to tell, really. Watch out, Morty. That is not a good idea. You're building something with no plans? Oh, we have plans. Check it out. Oh, I see. That's... That's what I said when I looked at it the first time. Evidently, it's supposed to be really impressive when it's finished. But as you can see, it's a little chaotic at the moment. Yeah, I was noticing that. Tell me, is there anything you're doing to keep people from getting hurt here? We're wearing hard hats. Yeah, but shouldn't someone pick up these pipes? Someone could trip on them. I suppose. Hey, Morty, when you get done with those alligators, can you pick these up? You're a real pal, man. And that's another thing. Alligators? On a construction site? Well, if it's safety we're going for, I think it's best not to agitate the dangerous wildlife, don't you? You could get animal control out here. That'd take too long. We're pretty daylight as it is. Besides, we got plenty of wildlife on the site that hasn't caused any trouble at all. Wait, you have more animals here? Sure, we keep them over here. Take a look. I don't believe it. How's it going with the constructed set, Kyle? It's it's gone better, Mr. Jacobs. Really? What seems to be the problem? You mean, besides the fact this piece is supposed to go into this piece, but there isn't a hole there, so it can't fasten there? Hmm. Well, let me see the instructions. Be my guest. Sam gave up already. Sam? Hey, yo. Over by the radio. Oh, taking a break? I already have a lot of thinking I already do at work. So on my days off, I like to limit my mental strain to a few notches lower than average. Makes sense. I might join her in a second. I mean, look at all these lines and notes and symbols and pieces and keys and... Uh. Oh, why? Well, it can be overwhelming. It looks like you got the main idea, though. Can I see your screwdriver? Here. Is this how you learn to fix everything, Mr. Jacobs? You mean by playing with constructed kits? A little, perhaps. Though I'd say a lot of it was by hanging out with my dad and having him show me the ropes. Must be nice having someone explain how to do stuff. He was a pretty good teacher. And honestly, by now, I've forgotten more than half of what he taught me. Wow. He must have been a super genius or something then. Uh, maybe. He could probably find out what was going on with this project and half the time it's taking me. Well, I can stop distracting you and listen to the radio while you work on it. All right. Any luck yet, Mr. Jacobs? Well, I found the main problem, Sam, I think. It looks like one of these pieces here was supposed to actually be used over here. Let me see the instructions. Oh, right. I can't believe I missed that one. Makes a whole lot of sense now. Too bad we didn't catch it earlier. Yeah, I was this close to asking if we could drill a hole so it would fit. That would have worked, Kyle, but now we don't have to. Yeah, I think I got it now. Okay, let me know if you need any more help. Thanks. So, what have you been up to, Sam? You mean besides work? I've been hanging out with friends, doing chores, you know, the basics. I've been doing my Bible time, too. I'm trying to do that read through the Bible in a year thing. It's going okay. Just okay? Yeah, Genesis was fun with all the stories and the history, but halfway through Exodus, things got technical. Ah, yes. All of the laws. Yeah, I had no idea there were so many rules in there. I mean, I knew people say that Christians have to follow a ton of rules, but seriously, there's chapters and chapters of how to do this and don't do that, and if this happens, then this happens. It's quite the section of the Bible, and the Jewish people back in Bible times dedicated their lives to following every single rule. That's nuts. They could not have made it long. Mm, not usually, but there was a group of priests who made it their goal to be the best at keeping all of God's rules. They were called Pharisees. And not only did they take following rules to the extreme, they made up rules of their own so that it was even harder for people to live for God. Oh, I think I've heard about those guys. They weren't super happy with what Jesus had to say most of the time, right? That's right. Because he knew why they were following all of these rules and it wasn't impressing God. What do you mean? Wait, let me guess. You've got a script about that? Be right back. And 
now, from the garage of Lionel Jacobs comes the buoyant drama, The Litigious Lifeguard, an adapted biblical parable about God's rules. Once upon a time, at the Tinkerton swimming pool, there was a lifeguard. Hey, no horseplay. He was very interested in making sure that every rule was followed to the letter. It's my job and I'm gonna do it right. All right, kids, let's do some swimming. No, it's the adult swim. You've gotta wait two minutes and 43 seconds. What a sourpuss. Every day he watched from his seat high above the pool, making sure everyone was following the rules. Stay off the rope. One day, as he kept his vigil, a kid who was learning how to swim suddenly got into trouble. She panicked and struggled to get to the surface to breathe. Oh no, it looks like that kid needs help. What? That water is way too deep for kids to be swimming in unattended. That's against the rules and is deemed unsafe by the SSI. Never mind all that. Aren't you going to dive in and save her? Of course not. What? Why? Don't you see the signs? It's unsafe to dive in this pool. If anything, I would use the ladder. Well, whatever you do, please hurry. That I will definitely not do. What? I keep telling you people, but you won't listen. The rules say absolutely no running around the pool. Is that so hard to understand? Don't worry, kid. I'm coming. Okay, ma'am. You can't swim without an officially recognized swimsuit. Please exit the water and go get changed. Don't make me call security. Get out of the water. The moral is that when God gave us instructions for how to live our lives, he did it for our own safety and well-being. Sometimes it can be easy to think that we were made to follow rules and that nothing else matters, and that's not true. We were made to love God and others, and if we decide that doesn't matter as much as the rules, then we've kind of missed the point. That constructed kit is looking pretty impressive there, Kyle. Thanks, Mr. Jacobs. It's starting to look like the picture on the box. I don't think I need to look at the box to guess. It's a wind turbine, right? Yeah, I've just got to finish the blades and then we can see how it works. <laughs> it's amazing how things work together when you follow the instructions carefully. That's something I wanted to ask you about, Mr. Jacobs. Oh, what's up, Sam? It's this whole thing about following all of God's rules. The drama script we read about the lifeguard kind of confused me. I didn't think the moral would be that following God's rules wasn't important. Did I miss something? Yeah, I was wondering that too, but I figured you're Mr. Jacobs and you know what you're talking about. <sighs> well, first off, just because I'm Lionel Jacobs doesn't mean that I always know what I'm talking about. It's always important to find out the truth instead of just accepting what someone tells you because they know a lot. That's why you use Bible verses to back up what you say a lot of the time. Exactly. And to demonstrate this point, I will clarify the moral to the lifeguard script with a Bible verse or two. In the book of Matthew, in chapter 22, Jesus is teaching people about God's rules when someone asks Jesus, which of the rules is the most important? Do you know what he said? I know this one. Wasn't it, love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength? Not bad. And he gave the second most important rule as well. Love your neighbor as yourself? Exactly. With these two rules, Jesus said, if we follow them, then we will be keeping all of the other rules. So the Pharisees, they were making more rules and making it harder to follow God. And it sounds like Jesus here is taking the complicated rules and everything and making them simpler. That's right. And according to Jesus in John 14, 15, when we follow these commands, we're showing that we love him. I'm still gonna have to think about this. Maybe even talk about it with pastor tomorrow. Sounds like a good idea. Well, I think it's ready. That looks fantastic, Kyle. Yeah. Are you going to turn it on? Turn it on? Yeah, doesn't it have a motor so the blades turn? It's, it's a turbine, Sam. It doesn't use energy. It makes energy. I'll show you. Want to help me get it outside? Oh, okay. You coming, Mr. Jacobs? Right behind you. Just got to turn off the radio first. <laughs> 